Your non-stick cookware should never, ever look like this. Ever. If it looks like this, it's time to toss it to the trash. <laughs> so this cookware is a cookware that I got from a friend. I visited this friend, a lady friend of mine, and I saw this cookware in her kitchen. And this is actually what inspired this whole episode. She was about to make me food using this cookware and I said, girl, don't you dare do that. <laughs> This is poisonous, it's unhealthy, it's unhygienic. Definitely shouldn't be in your kitchen if your cookware looks like this. I asked her, how long have you had this cookware in your house? And she just told me she got it less than one year ago. And I'm like, fam, don't do that. That's absolutely wrong. On the other side of life is another cookware. It's a non-stick cookware as well. Right, this one belongs to me. If you watch my Instagram reels or even on this channel, you probably have seen me cook with this cookware. This is what this cookware looks like. I've had this cookware for over four years. Guys, over four years. You can see what it still looks like. Very durable, well-maintained, properly kept. And I'm gonna show you and share with you all of the tips that I use to ensure that my cookware stays in very good condition and are well maintained. You can have your non-stick cookware for up to seven. I have some cookware that I've had for up to seven, eight, nine years that are still looking as good as brand new. So let's get into how you should and must maintain your non-stick cookware to increase and improve its shelf life. Non-stick cookwares are those cookwares that have a very sleek and smooth and fresh surface that allows food just slide out easily. And this is due to the or because of the Teflon coating on the pan. It prevents burning. You can literally cook your food without burning your food in your non-stick cookware. It makes cooking and cleaning very easy and convenient. But guess what? Your non-stick cookware requires high maintenance if you want it to last for a long period of time. Unfortunately, a lot of people do not know how to maintain their non-stick cookwares and they just maintain it like they're maintaining their regular cookwares like the cast iron ones and the other ones even though those ones have special treatments for them unfortunately a lot of people don't know how to and i'm about to share some tips with you on how you can take care of your non-stick cookware of course with the right cleaning cooking and maintenance techniques you definitely will get your non-stick cookware to look like this after many 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 years now i've categorized the tips under cooking cleaning and storage now under the first category which is the cooking category the first tip that i have for you to help you maintain your non-stick cookware would be do not use metal utensils when you are cooking with your non-stick cookware ensure that you are using either wooden or silicon materials to cook with your non-stick cookware. So ensure that you're using wooden spoons, um, silicone spatulas, tongs that are made from silicone materials. Avoid using metal spoons or, <coughs> or knives or anything metallic in your cookware. The Teflon surface that is used to make the non-stick cookware is a very delicate one. And if you use any metallic object on it, you would really scratch out the surface and that would go into the food that you're cooking and render it unhealthy. So ensure that you are using either wooden or silicone materials when you are using or when you're cooking with your non-stick cookware, okay? Still under the cooking category, the second tip there would be be very mindful of the heat level when you're cooking. When you're cooking with your non-stick cookware, always ensure that you do not cook on high heat. You are either cooking on medium or low heat. In fact, avoid cooking your food on high heat. It is not heat that actually makes your food cook faster. It is the steam. When steam actually just allow, you allow the steam just um, distributes itself evenly in the pot. And that can be achieved when you're using medium or low heat. When you cook with high heat, what would happen is that 
you will literally also scorch the surface, the, ins the inter inside of the pan and the outside of the pan as well. And before long, you would have the underneath of your cookware looking like this or the sides looking very tattered or the handles looking very bad. So ensure that your heat is controlled to medium or low and never ever cook with high heat, okay? Still under the cooking category, the third tip that I'm going to give would be never heat up your pan while it is still empty. Always ensure that there's a food item in the pan, either oil or water or something that you want to heat up. But don't place your non-stick cookware on the heat and just allow the and just leave it there on the heat to heat up. Or at least don't overly heat it up, even if you must start the process from heating it up slightly that way you are also protecting not just the interior but you're also protecting the exterior of it remember that the teflon coat used to make the cookware is a very delicate one so always have that in mind okay still under the cooking category the next tip i'm going to give is match the different pot sizes to the right cooking knob so for example don't place a small non-stick pot or pan on a very big gas cooking knob. What will happen if you do that is the fire will spill out because the pot is too small for that big knob and the fire will spill out to the sides of the pan and damage the sides and damage the handle. So if you're using a small pot, match it to the smallest knob or a medium sized knob. And then if you're using a big pan or a big pot, you can match it with the big knobs. And that's the reason why your, cook, your cooking gas or your stove top comes with different knob sizes so match the pots and the pans to the appropriate knobs that's one way to maintain your non-stick cookware okay and the last point under the cooking category would be be mindful of how your pots and pans are placed on the cooking knob be very mindful always ensure that it is properly placed and balanced and it's not tilted to one side of the of the knob you want to ensure that it's always placed at the very center of the knob at all times that's all the tips under the cooking category let's move over to the cleaning category before we continue remember you can now order a copy of my cookbook winnie sizzling selections which has over 100 easy recipes you can choose from now each recipe is broken down into ingredient list and procedure and we went ahead to also include the prep time the cook time seven size part the recipe and then of course the level you you know whether it's a very easy recipe to make or an easy recipe to make or just medium easy it's all written in the book so go ahead now, click the link in my bio to purchase a copy. If you live abroad, you can purchase a copy on Amazon as well. So um, it's a book that you definitely should have. And even if you do not need it, you can purchase it as a gift for your friends or your family members who love to cook. I'm sure that they would appreciate it dearly. Okay, thank you guys. Now the very first tip under the cleaning category would be never ever wash your non-stick cookware with abrasive materials like your sponge, iron sponge, your scoring pads, the very hard brushes or hard sponges. Ensure that you're using a very soft sponge or a soft cloth and a mild dish washing liquid to wash your non-stick pan. It's very important that you are doing that. Remember again, the Teflon coating is not very friendly to harsh conditions. Do not use hard metals on your non-stick pots. Trust me, you would spoil the surface of that pot and before long, it turns from a non-stick pot to a just a metal pot, <laughs> pretty much. Now, for your non-stick cookwares, food hardly gets stuck on the bottom or the surface of the cookware. But if per adventure you have food stock on your non-stick cookware, the simple and the easiest way to clean it out, again, never use a metal or hard ash brush or um, sponge on it. The easiest way is just to soak it for at least one hour. Just soak it by the sink and leave it there for at least one hour. And then afterwards, if the water would have softened up the food particles that are stuck to the pot and you can just easily wipe it down with a sponge and then rinse it off with water now if after soaking the food 
is still stuck to the bottom, which is highly unlikely. But if that happens, what I'd advise you to do is just add a little bit of baking soda or baking powder into the water, right? And then put it on the stove top and boil the water for about five minutes on the heat, right? Then take it off, then allow it to soak for another hour or two, then wash it off. It would definitely um, whatever food particles are stuck to the pan or, or the cookware would definitely come off easily. But please, please guys, I'm literally begging you, never use hard abrasive materials like iron sponge or hard sponge or, or um, the hard brushes on your cookware. I'm begging you in the name of the Lord. <laughs> dokie. Still under the cleaning category, please ensure that you leave your cookware to dry thoroughly you can leave it out to air dry or you can use paper towel or a soft cloth to just clean out the surface thoroughly before you store and then if after washing and drying your cookware and you find that it has lost its shine or it has it doesn't it, it looks very dry like um and very unpolished one thing you can do to season things up again is just to use a place a little bit of oil in a paper towel and then just coats that's the surface area with the oil just polish it nicely with the oil and then definitely the surface would regain its um shine and its brightness and you can store it like that in the in your in your pantry or in your cupboard or whatever but just ensure that the oil you're using is not a lot just a little bit of oil just to polish the surface again and the shine will be restored and that's all the tips under the cleaning now to the final category which is the storage the very first tip that i'm going to share with you for under the storage category would be when you are storing your non-stick cookware and you have to stack them up against each other right what you must do is you put a surface like a base you can use a paper towel you can use a clean cloth or sometimes your cookware actually comes with things that you can place on the surface before you put another cookware on top of it. It comes with it. But if it doesn't come, you can just use paper towel or a nice um, clean dry cloth and put on top of each cookware before you stack them up against each other. That way you are ensuring that the bottom of the cookware is not scratching the surface of the one that you're putting it inside another way you can store your non-stick cookwares would be using racks or you can put them on nails if you have nails in your or hooks in your kitchen you can just individually hang them on the nails or the hooks on sometimes the non-stick cookwares also come with racks um, you can just place them on the racks and put them in your cupboard and you can easily store your non-stick cookwares that way. And then the final tip on the storage is never ever store your non-stick cookwares in the refrigerator with food in it. Never. I find a lot of people do that. When you have leftover food, it's just easy and convenient for you to just put the pot inside the um, the fridge and then you leave it there like that. Now what that does is Non-stick cookwares are made with finishes or surfaces that easily absorb the flavor of food. And if you leave food sitting in your fridge stored in your non-stick cookware over time, the non-stick cookware would absorb that flavor and before long, it takes on the flavor of that dish. When you're cooking something else, that flavor would contaminate the flavor of whatever it is you're cooking and you have mixed flavors. And sometimes you wonder why the food you cook that should taste a particular way is tasting another way. That's one of the reasons. So the easiest thing to do is after cooking with your non-stick cookware, invest in nice Tupperwares or, um, or, or freezer-safe containers and just transfer the food to your Tupperware or freezer-safe container and place in the fridge, wash your cookware and just keep it separately. It should never be used to store food in your fridge, okay? Now, please, Treat your non-stick cookware like an asset because it's an asset to your kitchen. It's the pot that allows you to cook the food that you and your family members and friends would eat. So treat it with a lot of care, treat it with a lot of respect and value it appropriately so that it would also be very good to you. Again, your cookware should never ever look like this. 
if it looks like this, it's time to throw it out the trash. Rather, your cookware should always look like this. Literally, guys, this is less than one year old. This is over four years old, if not more. I think it's even more. Which do you prefer? So use the tips that I've shared with you today to take very good care of your cookware and then you would come back smiling and thank me later. <laughs> If there are other tips that I probably missed out, please kindly let me know and let's continue the conversation in the comment section down below. I'll see you again with another episode. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another and take very good care of your non-stick cookware. Take care, guys.